The National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB in the United States, has provided an update on the crash of a chopper that had Herbert Wigwe, the group chief executive officer of Axis Holden PLC, on board. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, had earlier said it would be involved in the investigation of the accident, but noted that the NTSB would be in charge. Speaking during a media briefing, NTSB board member Michael Graham said officials were on the scene to gather perishable evidence. Be uh, just recently and within about an hour ago uh, arrived on scene for this accident investigation. Last night at 8.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, an Airbus EC-130 helicopter departed Palm Springs, California, en route to Boulder City, Nevada. At about 10.08 p.m., the helicopter impacted the terrain south of I-15 near Holloran Springs, California. Holloran Springs is about 75 miles northeast of Barstow. Two crew members and four passengers were on board and were fatally injured. Before I go any farther, on behalf of the NTSB, I'd like to express our deepest sympathies to the families and loved ones of those who lost their lives in this terrible tragedy. We have a representative from the NTSB's Transportation Disaster Assistance Division on scene with us. She is currently working with the family members of those who lost their lives and will provide support as well as investigative updates as they become available. The NTSB is an independent agency charged by Congress to investigate every civil aviation accident and significant accidents in the other transportation modes. We are on scene now to gather perishable evidence. Our team is methodically and systematically reviews all evidence and considers all potential factors to determine the probable cause. This is the beginning of a long process. We will not jump to any conclusions and the information that I provide for you tonight is preliminary. A preliminary report will be available in a couple weeks and however, a full NTSB investigative report and investigation will last 12 to 24 months before a final report is published. Additional details about, about the accident include, the crew consisted of a pilot in command and a safety pilot. The accident flight was operated by Orbic Air LLC as a part 135 charter flight. Witness reports of the weather conditions at the time of the accident suggest rain and a wintry mix. The, helico the helicopter was not equipped with a cockpit voice recorder or a flight data recorder. This helicopter was not required to be equipped with those type of recording devices. We are aware of media reports of some downed power lines near the accident site. We will be looking into this report during our on-scene investigative, st investigative phase. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.